Hi all, in this video I'm going to talk about a video put out by Lacey Green where she was talking about fake rape allegations, fake rape claims. And it's important to remember when talking to a feminist or a person, a person who's inclined to the social justice warrior camp, that whenever they're arguing and they're going to cite a statistics or reports or research or whatever, uh, some or all of the following will invariably be true. You're being misled, uh, either overtly or accidentally. So the research they're going to cite doesn't say what they say that it says. The research that they cite, if, it, if the, re the research in question is an original piece, uh, the data will be creamed, the data will be cooked, uh, the books will be cooked on that. Um, it'll be poorly researched, it'll be shoddily cited, it will just be a, a train wreck of supposed scholarship. So you need to bear that in mind and check everything that they tell you. So Lacey Green uh, put out a video, as I mentioned earlier, and in it, she, uh, she mentions that between 2 and 8% of rape claims are false. And uh, she was saying that she scrolled a study across the screen. And then in her citations, her works cited page, uh, their YouTube equivalent, she cites to a, uh, a supposed study. Now, if you are a feminist in America or uh, anyone else outside of America, feminist or non-feminist, you alike can thank the American taxpayer for the hundreds of thousands of dollars they spent training me in both law enforcement and mathematics because I immediately spotted a problem. I noticed it straight away because of my familiarity with, uh, well, in this case with law enforcement, but my uh, education in mathematics is also quite useful in dealing with these. So what she cited to is from the Criminal Justice Information Services of, of the FBI, Department of Justice, Division, uh, Uniform Crime Reporting Program, the UCR, the, the grand poobah of data that people like to cite to, itself full of problems, but putting that off to the side. Reporting rape in 2013, and then the rest of the title. Summary Reporting System, User Manual and Technical Specification. This is not research, this is not a study, this doesn't claim to be anything. This is like the, the little pamphlet you get with your television. And it might mention, if you want to watch Little House on the Prairie, you need to make sure that, you know, you've plugged in this wire here into that, you know, tab A went into slot B, and the rabbit ears are facing the right way in order for you to be able to get reception on your channel. It's not saying that, that in fact, you will watch Little House on the Prairie. It isn't saying that it's a program that's offered in your area. It doesn't uh, say whether or not you get cable, whether you don't get cable. It tells you what you need to do in order to get your system, get, to get your system to work. That is what this is. It is the technical, the user manual. So how do you, the person who's trained to enter data, how do you navigate your way in the system? And the technical specifications. What goes where? What category means what? So this she's citing as evidence that there is, is or isn't some particular uh, false reporting rape. Uh, false reporting rate with respect to rape in particular, but I will just generalize it to sexual assault in general. Needless to say that uh, the technical manual doesn't say what she says this piece of research says that it says. Now whether this is an inadvertent bad citation to a source like the UN report that wanted to show the violence against women and girls, uh, what was it, last year where the guy, or the, the author, I don't know if it was a man or a woman, I'm guessing it's a woman, uh, wrote, wrote a paper and cited, among other things, uh, his or her own disk drive as evidence that this was in fact the case. Other other uh, data was just not put in, so there weren't citations where there should have been cited. Anyway, it was just a, a complete train wreck. And uh, Lacey Green is no different. Now, she she is supposedly a, uh, a, a sex educator, an edu a public educator on sex, proving that you don't have to be smart to be an educator, you don't have to be competent to be an educator, but both of these things undoubtedly help. So anyway, uh, there, are, there are problems even in this technical manual, the, the user manual, the technical specification manual. And uh, this is why people like me are highly dubious of FBI data, in particular on sexual assault, but on some other crimes too, but relevant here on sexual assault. For example, they use, they'll use a sui, de, uh, sui generis definitions uh, just for rape, how to classify rape so you can jack up the number of rapes on paper. No additional uh, vaginas or... Uh, pussies or assholes have been penetrated by dicks or other foreign objects uh, one year to the next, uh, well, on a statistical level anyway, 
but you can you can Murphy the data any way that you would like just by changing the definition to make it include ever more uh, expansive things things that all all persons considered would would uh, look at and immediately recognize is not rape. Now, one of the reasons uh, for this is that feminists uh, uh, are like a plague. Social justice warrior types are like a plague, and they work their little tentacles in, you know, oct octopi plagues. They've worked their little tentacles in everywhere, and uh, you've got to get them out by root and branch, and it's not always easy to do, because sometimes they have all the smack and polish and speak the language of post-modernity. I'm sorry, of academia. <laughs> Was that a Freudian slip? Anyway, so... What in this user manual, I'm sorry, what in this research gives me pause that the researcher is incompetent, that the researcher here doesn't know what they talk about? If you go look up false rape accusations or false rape reports or whatever it is on YouTube, you'll see things, I'm um, sorry, not on YouTube, on Wikipedia, you'll see the blurb in there that's saying that, that uh, prosecutors and researchers don't agree on, on the percentage. And one of those, one of the reasons for that is that researchers, uh, aren't trained in the law. They're not trained in law enforcement. They're statisticians or uh, sociologists, God forbid, something of the, along those lines. And their training has nothing whatever to do with the subject matter they want to study. And they make they wind up making a lot of uh, errors that prosecutors will spot right away. Anyone who's worked in law enforcement will spot right away. Whoever wrote this, this user manual is not a police officer, is not an FBI agent, is not a prosecutor. It is, it is some staff employee who doesn't know what he or uh, she is talking about or it is a staff employee who does know what he or she is talking about and is trying to make a change in the system so that way you can get a different result than what the data would actually show if it weren't uh, if someone's finger weren't on, on the scales here. So anyway, the following scenarios illustrate incidents known to law enforcement that reporting agencies must classify as rape completed in the section 2A. So here, here's the scenario that must be counted as rape and why uh, this is what gives me pause. And I don't mean like furry little hands. I mean P-A-U-S-E, as in menopause. A female high school student was drinking with a male classmate at her house. Uh, the man gave her a pill that he said would make her feel really good. Really good as in quotes. After taking the pill, the woman did not recall what happened. A rape kit indicated semen from sexual penetration. Whatever has been described here is not rape, or indeed any crime, nor does it, nor does it claim that any, any crime has been committed. So, uh, any, I say here, any prosecutor or person who's worked in law enforcement would know better, but so too would anyone who's taken logic. This is uh, inviting the, the reader to draw an inference that is not permissible on, what is, on the condition as it is stated. It's in, inviting you to engage in something called post hoc ergo propter hoc. Uh, that one event preceded another event. Uh, one event was the cause of the other event. In this case, that a pill, the, the taking of a pill preceded the finding of semen in a person, and therefore that proves that a rape happened, that the, the semen uh, arrived there after the pill was given, um, and you should therefore conclude that a rape happened. Or, it, um, the other part of it is that's problematic, is that the person said, the woman says that she does not recall what happened. So she's not even claiming that the event that led rise, uh, that led rise, that gave rise to the semen being found inside of her happened between when she took the pill and some time later. In order to, to say that this is rape, what a police officer has to do is find some bit of evidence or some reason to suppose that the semen that was found inside her is one from the gentleman who gave her the pill and two that the event that happened uh, that led to the introduction of that semen into her body uh, happened during the period of time which she says she can't recall and three that the reason that she can't recall is related to the taking of the pill in the first place it could have been so long ago she's just forgotten it could be any number of things now Lacey Green starts out her video emotionally manipulating her audience as feminists and social justice wing nuts warriors are wont to do and it is uh, to paint the people who question a, a supposed victim's claim of rape as saying that the, the painting you know, the people who question it as thinking that the woman or the girl or even the man or the boy who's come forward with an allegation is not only wrong but is knowingly wrong. She excludes entirely the possibility that there's someone out there like me who, when I hear that someone has claimed that, that someone has done some other crime, my question isn't, 
gosh, why is this person lying to me? My question is, is this person correct? And what are the reasons to suppose that this person is correct? And what are the reasons to suppose this person isn't correct? I don't assume that the person is a liar. I assume that they are human and therefore fallible, and not every word that comes out of their mouth will be the incontrovertible truth. And because it's difficult to, to just determine ab initio, who are the morally perfect people who never make mistakes, and who are the mere humans, I default with the idea that the human, or the apparently human uh, that I'm speaking with, or who is talking, is in fact human, and is capable of deception, and uh, much more commonly than deception, is just simply error. There are people who go to prison because they have been wrongly identified, and there are no evil people involved in this. The prosecutor was perfectly above board, the witness was perfectly above board, the victim could have been perfectly above board. They just got the wrong guy. Almost invariably, it's a guy who is wrongly convicted. Um, it doesn't have to be for a sexual crime. It could be any, for any other, uh, any given crime that you'd like. People make mistakes, and sometimes multiple people make the same mistake. Not because they're evil people, not because they're malicious, not because they're liars, but because they are human and fallible, and you get no guarantees when a person's lips start flapping. Unless it's a feminist or a social justice warrior, in which case you are guaranteed, it is a certitude, that you are, by them, being misled. Often, often it's because they're the rank in the file and they're too stupid to know otherwise and they just parrot whatever it is that they've told, but for the ones who have an education, it is almost invariably on purpose that you're being misled. So anyway, um, kudos to the American taxpayers. Thank you for paying your taxes and, and training me as well as you did in all that law enforcement stuff and for pitching in on my education in mathematics. It is now a return on your investment, and I have to say, I think you got your money's worth. Have a great day.